Hello, CFA Nation, Gabe. Nick. And we are here today to bring you another, I, I wouldn't even call this a cricket combos, Nick. Okay, I would say this is more of what, a, a real-time reaction? It's just a reaction, to, um, yeah. Just a reaction to a documentary. Um, right now, you guys see me wearing a Muhammad Ali shirt, because as far as the, 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 the world of back boxing goes, that's the original GOAT, the greatest of all time for those, the, for the uninitiated, okay? And right now, we're going to be talking about another GOAT, Nick. Let everybody know what we're talking about. So we're talking about the, the late, great Shane Warren. He, uh, unfortunately, as you know, he tragically passed away. But there was a, a, there is a documentary that was created on Amazon Prime about his career. Um, I don't know what parts of his career it entails because he had a long and glorious career. But this documentary came out. We never watched the documentary. We never reacted to the trailer. We never saw the trailer before. So we decided let's react to this trailer and let us know in the comment section if you want us to check this out and give a review on it. I'm assuming you do, but still, let us know. It's nice to know about the request. This is supposedly done by the same people that did the test, supposedly. And we love the test. That's where we, uh, that's, you know, the very beginning of CFA was us reviewing episode by episode. I think this is a straight shot documentary. I don't think it's an episode by episode, a season type situation. But we're going to be checking this out here. If you're excited for that, don't forget to give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. We reacted to a Shane Warren top five wickets just a couple of days ago. And apparently that's a popular video to react to because other channels have also reacted to it since then. But um, Gabe, you excited for this? Yeah, you know, my man Jihan uh, literally hit us up, and I know he hit you up on Twi on Instagram, hit me up on Twitter, and he had talked about this documentary. And for those that don't know, uh, Jihan's a friend of the channel. He's been on many times uh, with us before. He actually live-streamed for us uh, from the Ashes, you know what I mean? Not the Ashes. Yeah, it was during the Ashes, right? He was, uh, what stadium? I cannot remember what stadium he was at. Was it the? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't it might know. have been at the Gabba. I, like I think. I think it was at the at the Gabba. But been. in any event, he's in there with the phone or whatever. Right? Like he's one of the biggest Australian fans there are, and it was him that really got us to react to uh, these Shane Warren videos. Because honestly, we didn't want to do it in poor takes. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people are jumping around and getting it done, but because we are not quote unquote long-term cricket fans or whatnot you know what i mean we only got to see the end of shane warren's career and we're just talking about him as a broadcaster but we never actually got to really see him play you know what i mean but we know what he meant to the world of cricket but because jihan and other people have access, access to do it it's why we're jumping and, re and, and, and reacting on it um to the next point other people are just jumping all over oh shane, shane, shane warren it's, it's, it, come on guys somebody's you know he's got family like it if I can only imagine, Nick, how it affected other people. Because just reading that email that uh, Jihan sent you and the, and the way he sent me, you could feel the pain, you know what I mean? And, and, and just like, I, I get it. I get it. You talked about when Kobe died, how that actually impacted you. I had to console Trey. Trey's a huge Lakers fan when Kobe passed away. And that's what, you know, Shane Warren was to, to Australia and really to the world of cricket for those people that appreciated uh, – um, doesn't matter if you're an uh, India fan, England fan, uh, West Indies fan. You know what this guy meant. So right. it's crazy. I want to go ahead and check this out. Um, again, Jihan, uh, this was for you and all my Australian fans. And let's get this thing started, brother. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of fans that were hurting from it. We're going to go ahead and check this out and see what it's all about. I'm surprised for, you know, a document. I know it's a documentary, but I'm surprised. It hasn't even gotten a half a million hits, but we're still going to check it out regardless. In three, two, one. Oh. When Warren emerged, it was the best thing that had happened to cricket for a long time. I like that one. Cricket found me. I was a man on a mission. I wasn't taking any prisoners. I felt we had a weapon that no one else in world cricket had. I'm getting wow. a bit nervous in my hands now thinking about it. 
I like the way I started, that's awesome. One of the few rock and roll sportsmen, and I think people really liked that like about you. him. You could not take your eyes off him when he bowled spin. All of a sudden, the kids in the school wanted to bowl leg spin because of Shane Warne, <laughs> and even I get swept up in it, even though I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> I got my hand up, I want to be Shane Warne. I wouldn't hesitate to <laughs> putting Shane's name right there amongst the top spinners who have <laughs> ever played the game. I was front page, back page, middle page, and everything was good. Here we go. There is always a human cost in the pursuit of greatness. You have to make sacrifices to be an international sportsman. And to be the best, you've got to be selfish. Wow. Cricket was always my number one priority. And that doesn't mean I didn't value my family, but they were second. This is a player that transcended his sport. And that's why people were so fascinated by him. So you can imagine this staircase of, of fame and adulation and the staircase of scandal that, that followed it. Lots of happy memories, lots of sad memories. We only ever saw him as dad. So I can appreciate those sacrifices he made when we were younger for him to be Shane Warne, who he is today. He's larger than life. He's Shane Warne. <laughs> I really like that text, that font right there. You know, one thing that I was surprised to, to learn about him when we, we I was doing some research before our last reaction, this guy was married to Liz Hurley for a short time. Elizabeth Hurley from Austin Powers and whatnot. Um, I didn't know that. I mean, this guy was a was a certified rock star for crying out loud. And I mean, think about that, like the ashes, right? He's married a, a Brit, right? And he's from Australia. But um he he has kids. Yeah, he, he had a wife before he married Elizabeth Hurley. And all that kind of stuff. But talking about this documentary, it seemed very, very positive and uplifting. Unfortunately, whenever you take a deep dive into any celebrity in any field who are at the top of their game or near the top of their game, there's always controversy, right? Whether it's drugs, alcohol, infidelities, all these things. And some of those things might be in this documentary. Who knows? But I did like how this trailer was more positive about it. They got his kids in there. He mentioned himself. My family was was second um, fiddle to, to my career. That's tough, man. But like the one guy said, if you want to be the best in the game, you got to be selfish, right? Isn't that kind of a similar thing to what Sasha's wife said in the trailer for his film about his life? I mean, Nick, I think that, you know, I'm watching this, right? And right now, I'm thinking to myself about conversations and struggles that we're currently having as a family. And, you know, for those of you that follow CFA, you guys have seen my son Trey on the channel and he's struggling with having to finally understand that the next progression of him following his, his career to be continued playing football is the collegiate level. And that's the reality of now I'm going to be far away from home. I'm going to North Dakota. I'm going to be thousands of miles away from from home you know what i mean i'm gonna be on my own i'm sacrificed i've already sacrificed so much i i've missed so many birthdays missed so many celebrations for this sport and sometimes that that doubt you know what i mean comes into the back of your mind it creeps like do i really want to continue to sacrifice all this and we, you know you just got to put it on them like listen kid this is what's in your heart this is what's in your heart but then you also realize that you know uh, some people won't understand because family does become second i'm sorry if you're going to be great and you're going to become a professional athlete it has to be a priority it takes over how you think how you eat how you sleep everything you understand what i'm saying here nick and that doesn't make shane warren, shane warren a bad person it makes him a dedicated athlete and shows what he had to do it doesn't it's the, the wheel doesn't need to be reinvented okay if you've got athletic ability then all it is is dedication you follow the same path and road that other athletes have done to get there it's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And you can see that he did that. And I think the last thing you mentioned there, and you've said it yourself before, pe for people that want to judge, was Shane Warren perfect? Absolutely not. Neither was Kobe. Neither was Michael Jordan. Neither was whoever. But forget about the athlete. There was, There, there is no man that's infallible. If you're saying you're infallible, you're comparing yourself to the, the Christ himself. All right? No one is. Imagine if you right. were judged on your worst moment. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? So we're just lucky that the camera isn't on us 24 hours a day and it didn't catch our mistakes and didn't catch, you know what I mean, 
our 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 uh, um failures in life so to speak you know what i mean but for me i don't care about all that other garbage because i understand the the road he had to walk through to get where he had to be man and i and i think that what I liked about this is they did show a lot of his play in his game, but it showed was the human element. And it's crazy. It just came out January 6th. A couple months later, he's passed, right? And, that's bro, amazing. like, there's a, there's a human element to it. Honestly, Nick, that's why I did not want to win. I saw it on Twitter. I posted it initially that day, and we had no plans to do anything about it. And then Jihan and other people reached out to us to, to get it done from CFA Nation. Hey, react to it. But... I don't like, I don't know what that's, what that's called when you see a whole bunch of people just jumping on it to try to like get clicks and you know what I mean? Like, like well, it's, it's, it's like a bandwagon, you know, but you know, hopefully, hopefully people are doing it out of respect True for people respect that don't know, yes. right. Or they, maybe they don't know that they don't know, but they just see that it's, it's something that's trending right now, or it's, it's a hot topic. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's react to it. I mean, I see what you're saying for sure. Like, like the, again, to the, 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 the I think the son in the video says he was dad. All right, yeah. To us, to the rest of the world, he's Shane Mount Warren. But that's somebody's dad. That's somebody's son. That's somebody's uh, uh, husband. That's somebody's. You know what I mean? Like 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 brother. And their family still feels some kind of way about it. It's so fresh. You know what I mean? So to me, it's like understand that there's more. There's a bigger. It, it impacts a lot of people. You know what I'm saying, Nick? And and I, it should just be treated treated with. Uh, with, with 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 respect, you know what I mean. If you're gonna do it, do it with respect. Hopefully, we'll do it with respect. I could care less if we're gonna make a video of it or not. I need to now watch this documentary, honestly, because I want to share it with Trey. Because every time, to me personally, I need him to understand that these are the sacrifices that need to be made if you want to get there. Not for me, for you. If you don't want to get there, bro, it's okay to turn. That's just being honest. You know what I mean? Because it is a hard road. And that's why I will never, ever, people that say professional athletes are overpaid, you have no idea what these people sacrifice. No idea. And, I mean, that's my, that my, that's my last thought right there. They're, they they deserve every single penny they get, period. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> that that's going to trigger me on a different conversation because um, there's a lot of non-famous lifestyles that aren't home either that get paid in fractions, hundreds yeah. of what athletes make. But um, but absolutely, all I, I just want to end on saying, when you have the death of a parent, it's 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 very very difficult. Like his kids are going through, but man, to have a a documentary talking about the greatness of your father and his career and what he sacrificed and things that you missed out for, I'm not saying that makes up for it, not at all. But that's a nice token to have when you're able to get over the grieving and you're ready to to explore that. Most of us. We deal with home videos and whatnot. So with all that being said, let us know what you think about this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. We know all things.